everyone, my name is Rachel Washburn and welcome to a tutorial on emailing with the Gmail app. There are many features within the Gmail app. First, we will discuss what Gmail is, then I will provide step-by-step -step instructions for downloading the Gmail app, creating a Gmail account, signing in on the Gmail app, composing an email, emailing a picture, replying to an email, unsubscribing from an email subscription, deleting an email, searching for an email, and sorting emails using Gmail's labels. There is a lot covered in this video, so if you would like a written guide of all the content, tap on the link in the description below. Tapping on the link will bring you to the TechSkills website created by Colorado State University's Center for Healthy Aging, where you can view more video tutorials and technology guides. Before we begin, I want to note that neither Google Google or Gmail paid money or sponsored us to make a video tutorial for their app. The Center for Healthy Aging makes technology videos to support older adults to learn more about their device. First, let's discuss the Gmail app. Gmail is a free electronic mail platform created by Google. Emails can be sent and received from those with an email account from any email service such as Outlook, Yahoo, AOL, and Comcast. In order to send an email to someone, you must know their email address. Having a Gmail account specifically grants you access to Google Drive for free, which includes Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Drawing, Google Forms, and Google Sheets. This is the equivalent to Microsoft's Office Suite, which includes PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. Now, on your smartphone, you already have an email app that is already downloaded when you purchase your smartphone. You can still continue to use your email using the default email app for the smartphone, especially if this is something you are already comfortable with. However, there are some benefits to using the Gmail app if you have a Gmail account. First, you will likely have less problems receiving emails when you change the password to your account. Some default email apps are not able to notice or notify you when your passwords has changed. So you will stop receiving emails through the default mail app. Second, having the Gmail app on your phone gives you easy and quick access to using the two-step verification when logging into Gmail on a different device. This is particularly useful if you log into your email on a library or hotel computer. Last, you will likely have less problems with formatting after sending the email. When I used the default mail app on my iPhone, I noticed my emails had issues with their alignment, bullet points, or whenever I used an apostrophe, the mail app would convert it to a comma. Now that we have discussed the Gmail app, let's get into some step-by-step -step tutorials. First, we will learn how to download the Gmail app onto your device. Starting from the home screen, tap on the App Store app if you have an iPhone or iPad, Tap on the Google Play app if you have an Android phone, such as Samsung or Motorola phone. Upon opening the App Store or Google Play, tap on the search icon. On the App Store, the search icon is located at the bottom right corner. On Google Play, the search bar is located at the top of the screen. Next, tap on the search text box and type in the word Gmail using the keyboard. Then, tap search or enter at the bottom right corner of the keyboard. Next, locate Gmail, Email by Google, and tap on the download icon. The download icon may have a cloud with a downward arrow, but it could also be a box that says download or get. If you do not see Gmail on your device, scroll down by dragging a finger from the bottom to the top of the screen. Once the Gmail app is downloaded, you will see it on your home screen. Next, we will go over how to create a Gmail account. If you already have a Gmail account, you do not need to go through these steps. We will discuss how to sign in to Gmail shortly. First, tap on the Gmail app on the home screen. If you do not see the Gmail app icon, drag a finger horizontally to view different pages of the home screen. Upon opening the app, tap on Sign In at the very bottom of the screen. Then, tap Google towards the top of the screen. Next, tap on Create Account then tap for my personal use. Next, tap on the box that says first name. This will display the keyboard to type in your name. 
Using the same steps, you can input your last name, but this is optional. After typing in the name, tap the blue Next button. The next step to creating a Gmail account is adding your birthday and gender. Tap on each box to add in the appropriate information. Next, create your email address. You can either tap on a generated email address that Google has created or create your own. Once you have chosen or created your email address, tap on the blue Next button. Next, tap on the password text box to type in a password. Then tap on the blue Next button. Then, tap on the text box under the word phone number to type in your phone number. Then tap Next at the bottom of the screen. After typing in your phone number, Gmail will text you a verification code in the Messages app. Once you have located the verification code, write it down. Then, return to the Gmail app, tap on Enter Code to type in the code, then tap Next. To finish creating your Gmail account, read the terms and conditions, then scroll down to the bottom of the screen by dragging a finger from the bottom to the top of the screen. Then tap I agree. Next, we will discuss how to sign in on the Gmail app if you already have one. First, tap on the Gmail app on the home screen. Next, tap on the blue Sign In button at the very top of the screen. Then, tap Google. Then, tap on the text box that says Email or Phone to display the keyboard. Then, type in your email and tap the blue Next button. Next, tap on the words Enter your password to display the keyboard. Once you have typed in your password, tap on the blue Next button to finish signing in. Now that we have signed in to the device, we can start sending emails to others. First, tap on the Gmail app icon on the home screen. Once the Gmail app opens, we can see emails that have recently been sent to us. To send an email, tap on the Compose button, usually located at the bottom right corner of the screen. Next, tap on the text box next to the word to and type in the email of the recipient. If you are entering someone's email for the first time, ensure there are no mistakes, otherwise the email will not be sent. Most emails will end with the words at company.com, .org, or .edu. You may receive someone's email by asking them in person or if they have emailed you. You can also find someone's work email online if it's posted on the company's website. After typing in someone's email, tap on the text box next to the word subject. Then, type in a few keywords regarding the content of the email. Next, tap on the words Compose Email and type in what you would like to send to the recipient. Since many emails do not include someone's name, it's a common practice to start the email with a greeting and end it with your name, as you would do with a handwritten letter. Once you have typed what you would like to send, tap on the Send icon characterized by a paper plane at the top right corner of the screen. Next, we will go over how to email a picture to someone, which is done before we tap on the send icon on the email. In this slide, I created an email. We can see I have written the recipient, the subject, and body of the email. To attach a picture to an email, tap on the attach icon, commonly characterized as a paperclip, at the top of the screen. You will notice it is next to the send icon. Upon tapping the attach icon, a menu will open at the bottom of the screen starting with Photos. Tap on All across from Photos to view your photo album. Now we can see all the photos from our photo album. If you do not see the picture you are looking for, you can scroll vertically by dragging a finger up or down on the screen. Once you have found the picture you are looking for, tap on the picture. We can see when I tapped on one of my large pumpkin photos, it was added to the email text box. You can continue to add more pictures by tapping on the attach icon again. Next, we will discuss how to reply to an email. First, tap on the Gmail app on the home screen. Next, tap on the email you would like to reply to. If you do not see the email you are looking for, you can scroll vertically by dragging a finger up or down on the screen. Next, scroll all the way to the bottom by dragging a finger from the bottom to the top of the screen. Then. Tap the reply button. You can also see there is a forward button, which allows you to send the email to a different person's email address. 
Forwarding an email is very similar to the steps to compose an email. After tapping on the reply button, tap at the bottom of the email message where there is some white space. Be careful not to tap any of the text below the white space. You will notice that the recipient is already typed in because you are replying to the person that emailed you in the first place. If you want to add another recipient, you can tap on the white space in the email address box next to the first recipient's email address. Once you have written your reply message, tap on the send icon located at the top right corner. Next, we will learn how to unsubscribe from an email subscription. An email subscription is when you are on a company or organization's email list where they frequently will email you about upcoming sales, coupons, or other important information. When we subscribe from an email list, a company will stop emailing you. First, tap on an email from an organization or company that frequently emails you. Scroll down to the bottom of the screen, then tap the word unsubscribe. The unsubscribe word can be tricky to find on occasion, and it is usually in a small text size. Next, we will discuss how to delete an email on the Gmail app. There are two methods for deleting emails. To delete a single email, tap on the email you would like to delete. Then, tap on the trash icon located at the top right corner to delete the email. If you want to delete multiple emails, hold down the finger on an email for a few seconds until it turns, turns blue. Once you see a check mark next to the email, you can start to tap other emails you would like to delete. If an email has a check mark, it means it has been selected to perform a certain action. Since we want to delete all the emails with a check mark, tap on the trash icon at the top right corner of the screen. If you would like to delete all your emails, you can tap on the box next to select all, then tap the trash icon. Next, we will discuss how to search for an email, which is really helpful if you're someone who has tons of emails with important information that you, that you will need in the future. In the Gmail app, tap on search and mail located at the top of the screen. Next, start to type in keywords related to the email you are looking for. I would start with one or two words, then tap search. You will see on the picture on the right, emails will generate that have keywords in the subject or within the email message. To view the full email message, tap on the email. Next, we will discuss how to sort emails with the Gmail's labels, which is Gmail's way of sorting emails into a folder. First, tap on the menu icon located at the top left corner of the screen. The menu icon is characterized by three horizontal lines stacked on top of each other. Tapping on the menu icon will open a whole list of options. We don't have time to talk about all of these today, but I encourage you to explore them. Something I will point out is the option to view recently deleted emails by tapping on trash. Let's get back to labeling our emails. Scroll down to the word that says create new, which will be located under the labels section. Then type the name of the label and tap save at the top right corner. This label can be for anything. For example, I typed in recipes for when my mom emails me cooking recipes. After we tap save, the label is created. Next, tap on the email that you would like to label. Then, tap on the more icon, which is characterized by three dots. Similar to the menu icon, the more icon will provide us with a few more options. We want to tap on the word label. Then, tap on the checkbox with the label name. Next, tap on the check mark at the top right corner of the screen to sort it. To view labeled emails, tap on the menu icon located at the top left corner of the screen. Then, tap on the label name to view emails you have sorted using the specific label. We covered a ton of features within the Gmail app in today's video. If you would like to view a written guide of all the content in this video or see more video tutorials, tap on the link below. Tapping on the link will bring you to the Tech Skills website created by Colorado State University's Center for Healthy Aging.